Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 part 23. I'm fairly sure it's part 23. If you saw that little notification that just went away, um, we have managed to c fulfill 100 whims across all my sims. So that means that you get a notification that says that we are whimsical and we basically take amazing care of our sims. I quickly want to apologise for lack of videos this weekend. I was just feeling so ill. I could barely record a part because I would just cough constantly. So if you do hear any coughing in this episode in which I forget to edit out or something like that, then I apologise and I am sorry for that and I'm sorry for the lack of videos this weekend. I just, I had an essay to write and I just wasn't feeling great in myself. And when I don't feel great, my videos don't turn out that great. So I didn't want to put those up for you guys uh, if they weren't going to be entertaining. But Tyler and Tom are the first ones awake. Tyler, can you go grab some food like I told you to? Go and grab some French toast. And Avery should also wake up, I guess. And then he can get ready for his day. He wants to meet someone new at the lounge. He wants to go to a community lounge. Um, kind of got a feeling that community lounges aren't the place for children. And he only has four days until aging up. We did absolutely rubbish with his ambition. We didn't do any of them, which uh, I kind of wish we had, but I, I'm just not very good <laughs> at those um, at all. I suppose we could... We don't even have a chess table, so playing five games of chess is quite difficult and I doubt we're going to play five games of chess in four days or have an adult read to us. So I'm sorry, Avery, for practically just ignoring you. <laughs> Who knows, maybe with the next child we'll actually focus on their things rather than schoolwork because I feel like schoolwork completely takes over their life. Oh, and look, we have our Slender Boo painting. <laughs> um, we're gonna have him actually... Oh, what does Tom need to do before he goes to work? Oh no, that's his other thing. Um, yeah, I think he's ready for work. What is going on? Can this go away, please? There we go. Uh, and he's used the computer. So yeah, Tom's... He's doing sit-ups. Okay. Um, Tom, can you just clean up a little bit around here? Avery's going to grab a serving of some food or another, which is fine. And Emma's still in bed because she's pregnant and she needs her rest. She... Looks after these boys 24-7. So we're going to have Tyler actually um, sell this painting. And Tom, can you come and maybe just work on your pro programming. Work on your freelance, which is always good. It always gets us more money. So yeah, we're just going to let him do that. Wow, that Slender Boo painting actually got us 110 simoleons. How did that happen? I think today, after school, um, I think we'll send Tyler to the lounge, have him work on his jokes a little bit, but I do want to buy a microphone stand that, so that he can do it whilst he's at um, home as well. So for the comedy skill, you need a microphone for him to practice on, and I think there's not really much room to put it. I guess we'll put it in the boys room. He can just practice in there because this does have a playful moodlet, like emotional aura. So that'd be good for him to practice in there. Ah, oh, look, there's another kid. We don't know many kids, poor Avery. He doesn't really have a friend. <laughs> um, we're gonna tell some jokes and just work on our comedy skill once he's finished mopping up all of that. Look at Avery over here, just talking to his dad. I feel as if Avery is gonna follow in Tom's footsteps more than Tyler because Tyler is just the joke of the family. I love him. He's probably my favourite sim in this household. Not that I'm biased, but I do love him and I feel as if Avery is just gonna be more like Tom in which he's um, 
a bit more focused and is actually gonna have like a, a sturdy job, not just a comedian like his older brother over here. Um, so yeah, what skill is he actually on for this? He's on a comedy skill level 4, which is kind of good. Ooh, Emma, yeah, go take care of yourselves. Go use that first. And then what food do we have in stock? Oh, we still have loads of French toast. So I guess she can have that for breakfast. Um, I was going to send her the, to the gym because everyone's been commenting saying, why has Emma got so chubby? And I was going to send her the to the gym but then I realized that we did get her pregnant in the last part and I don't know if they can work out whilst pregnant but I guess we can try it there's no harm in trying probably shouldn't work out all that hard um, Avery is watching his brother's performance sorry if you guys hear any noise from like downstairs or something um, yeah it, we've kind of had a weird day in our house, so <laughs> that's going to happen probably. But the boys are off to school, and Tom's still working on his programming just before he goes into work, just to get him into that focused mood, I guess. I think we'll have Tyler maybe study hard. We'll have the, both the boys study hard, I guess. So they're both in school, working up. And yeah, there's not really much going on right now. I was going to move them out. However, the house that I have in mind, they do not have enough money for whatsoever. So we definitely need to carry on with Tom's job, try and get him a little bit further up in his career. What level is he actually on? He's a level six of the, um, the computer career. I completely forgot what career he's in but it's like computer science basically and I feel as if we need to get him up a bit more maybe we'll have Emma try and meet some new people today she still doesn't know all that many and the ones that she does know why are they only acquaintances oh wait I was on Tom not Emma I was like what they are not only acquaintances um so yeah, she only knows Don. Oh, did something just... Oh, why? We really need more money just for the fact that we have terrible, terrible plumbing. Tom, you should be in work, so head on over to work. He kind of needs to go to the gym as well. He's getting a little bit flabby, bless him. Look at this. Look at what he is wearing to work. Why do you have pink studs in your ears? And why are you wearing those funky glasses? This is not what I dress you in. This is not Tom. He does not wear dog tags and pink earrings. What is this? And boy, those yellow socks. You is working those yellow socks. <laughs> but yeah, we're just gonna we're just go to work, Tom. We need the money. You can dress like that if you want to because we just need the money, honestly. Poor Emma spends her life fixing things, even when pregnant. She's feeling quite uncomfortable because she has morning sickness, bless her. But yeah, she's she enters her second trimester quite soon. Um, Where should we head out with you today, Emma? That is the question. Let's travel. Let's see where we can travel to. I do kind of want to go to the gym, so uh, we might see if we can do that, see if she can work out whilst pregnant. You know, you don't want to put stress on the baby or anything like that, but she does kind of need to lose weight. So I think we're just going to go to Movers and Shakers. We're going to stay in, um, what's the town called? I've completely had a mind blank. Willow Creek. That's what it's called. We're going to stay in Willow Creek. We're not going to travel to Oasis Springs. Almost said o Oasis Landings. Throwback to uh, Into the Future there. But yeah, we've got a couple working out. Oh, she can work out when she's pregnant. That's good. This woman's proper going for it. She's on it. Go on. You can do it, Audra. I believe in you. 
Just imagine this punch bag is your ex-boyfriend. That's what I do and I'm working out. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I never work out. Probably should, but I just, it's just not fun. I just don't find it fun at all. So yeah, we're just going to work out for a little bit. I don't think we've ever actually been to this gym. I swear we just always go to the gym in Oasis Springs. But yeah, there's um, a bar for some reason. I don't know why. Is this like a hangout? Is this... I like how they just have fruit bowls. Like, you're at the gym. You should only eat fruit. So yeah, she's just working out. And I completely forgot Emma had a tattoo. I completely forgot about that about her. Ugh, she's sweating so bad. Look at her running, even when pregnant. That baby bump looks incredible in that top crop top. She has impeccable taste for a pregnant lady. So we're just gonna speed through this a little bit. Everyone's just having a chat. A good old natter whilst working out. Dwayne is super pumped. He's like jumping around, doing push-ups. This chick smell. Wow, I just choked on her. She's had a good workout. Well, you know what? We're gonna practice punching. We don't have an ex-boyfriend to think about whilst doing this because Tom has been our only lover and we are already married to him. And I know a lot of you have been saying, please get them married, but they are married. And I kind of wish I had started this Let's Play a little bit differently and kind of just had them as roommates. But they did already have Tyler and a lot of you wanted Tyler to stay in the Let's Play. So I decided to just carry on with them as being married. But once Tyler ages up, which I don't actually know how long he has until he ages up. But once he does, um, I think we'll get him married to Maya. Because, you know, they are promised and I feel quite mean if he doesn't. But I do have plans for Avery. You know, because Tyler is pretty much a hopeless romantic. He's tried to get with every girl in The Sims 4 and they all turned him down up until Maya. And I, th I feel as if he would just be like, right, that's it. I found one girl who likes me. I'm never letting her go. So basically those two are going to get married straight off the bat. So I will explore marriage ceremonies and parties and things like that with you guys. But Avery, I definitely have plans for. And hopefully if our next baby is a little girl, which I am praying for, then hopefully she'll have like a cute boyfriend and stuff it's kind of sad that alexander's aged up <coughs> because you know that would have been really cute seeing her with alexander the badass over here um but he, unfortunately he is a teenager and if we do have a girl she's um gonna be a child when he's like an adult and that's just creepy never do that we're gonna go take a thoughtful shower get ourselves into an inspirational mood and then maybe we'll head on over to the not the library do we have a museum around here i'm fairly sure we did oh this is a really cute lot but you can't go in there but look there's like a coffee shop and like a jazz place oh my god they're really cute like lots. This looks like a little restaurant cafe thing. This is all for decoration but they look really cute and I am so excited about expansion packs because people have been talking about it and they've been like oh when do you think the next expansion will be? When do you think this will be out? When do you think that will be out? And I really hope it's soon. I hope that we get an expansion maybe in like spring of next year. And I'm hoping it. I have a lot of choices of what I want the first expansion to be. Obviously, Seasons is always a good shout because that will give you seasons in your game. Or there's always stuff like Open for Business. I really would like to see that back from The Sims 2. Um, maybe something like Generations because, you know, we had the toddler black backlash and didn't really go down all so well um so yeah generations i think is 
the fan favourite, especially on my channel, and I know a lot of other, like, Let's Players of The Sims have very, very good feedback on their generation, so I definitely feel as if that's a fan favourite of the series. And yeah, I'm 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 looking forward to the expansion packs. I'm very very excited. We're just gonna have Emma come out and explore this area a little bit, and then I guess we'll head to the museum, see what's going on out there because Willow Creek is kind of really really quiet today. Nobody seems to be around. Oh, this guy just appeared. Who's this? Dave Hurtado. Never met him before, but okay. Welcome to the neighbourhood, Dave. Actually, don't look for frogs. We have enough frogs. <laughs> oh, okay. We're obviously heading to the museum. See if there's anyone around here. Hopefully there will be. Hopefully. And it's not going to be just empty. And we took a thoughtful shower for nothing. Because I can imagine even when pregnant, like, I'm lazy enough when, like, I've never been pregnant and I'm lazy enough. So I can imagine when I get pregnant, I literally won't want to do anything. And this is dead. This is a large pop-art painting. Who painted this? Oh, it was one of the Spencer Kims. Alice. Oh, she's actually here right now. Um, We're going to frame this and I guess we'll... We can't sell it. Can we just like move it? I want to paint. Let me paint. Go up here, Emma. Because I really want to paint. This is a really nice museum. I love these curved balconies. I think they're really nice. Avery is done with school for the day. Ooh, Tyler has been working hard and he is now a high school B student. Ah, so he's a B student. Which is cute. Can we move this? I want to paint. Why? Oh, hello, Lindsay. We can make a friend. Talk about dreams. Describe our new ideas. I just wanted to paint, but Alice Spencer Kim is hogging the damn easel, and now we can't. So, I guess we'll just make friends. We're gonna have him work on his comedy skill. And you can build your creativity. The boys are working on their skills. They may as well, whilst we're not there. Whilst the mum's here, um, meeting new people. We're gonna share our big news. And we're going to... Not romance. <laughs> Why do I always automatically click romance? Discuss colour theory. Because, you know, we are in an art museum or gallery or something like that. We'll brighten her day. Who's this? Colton Toledo. Colton has the pedo stash going on. He's got... He's got hoop earrings. He's got... A crazy tash that I don't like and those glasses I'm sorry friend but that that outfit just isn't working for me you kind of look really creepy nope don't like it not a fan oh and our friend left us oh, I guess we'll just go home you know people leave us left right and center we start talking to them and then they're just like no, you're boring. We're gonna go. We're just gonna leave. And that happens to most of the people my sims talk to. They just walk out. Who's this? May. Ah, I remember when May was young. Now she's an adult. She's got crow's feet. But she is cute. She's still adorable. But I, like I said a million times, and you guys are probably sick of hearing... I find old people adorable. It's just a thing. It's one of my weird things. I have many of them and that is just one of them. Like, I don't even know why. I've just always had it. <laughs> my mum's always like, you're such a weirdo. When I like out loud go, oh my god, that person's so cute. And my mum's just looking at me like, really? 
Oh, our bills have been delivered. You owe 669. Mm hmm. I bet we do. We're going to pay our bills and then we'll get the mail anyway. Can you tell some jokes? Work on that a little bit. Do you need anything? Nope, you are in a great mood. And this little one's just monkeying around on his swings. Uh, what was his thing for school, actually? Get two skills to level four. We have mental at level four, and his creativity is on level two. So we're going to work on our creativity a bit more, I guess. Let's draw a vehicle, and then draw some shapes. And uh, go to the toilet. Stop waddling around. Just use the toilet if you need the toilet. I'm not going to shout at you. You can serve some dinner, and what should we make? Ooh, chili sounds good. Capri salad? What the hell is that? Taco casserole? Um, I think we're gonna go for chili. Chili sounds good, especially because it's really cold in England right now, and I always love making chili to warm myself up. Oh, look, here he is. Playing with his pasta shapes. <laughs> He's so cute. Come on, Avery. I want to see this amazing artwork. Oh, Tom didn't get a promotion. I thought he would. That's kind of annoying. I thought he would have for sure got one today. Um, but we're going to go have him work on his programming. I feel as if this is all we have Tom do. But he needs to do it. We're not actually going to do that. I think what we're going to do is hack. We're going to hack um, land grab systems. We're going to do it. Sorry, land grabs, but hopefully we can't like get like in trouble for this. We've only ever hacked and it ha had been successful. So hopefully we can't get in serious trouble for this because... That would be kind of annoying, <laughs> but I'm fairly sure you can. Like, if you get caught hacking, I'm fairly sure the repercussions would be quite high, and for his job, it'd be quite scandalous. How's your, uh... He's, he needs to do extra credit work three times. F that. We're not going to do that. Uh, you should actually use the bathroom before you start your homework, so go do that. And then, let's do our homework. We may as well. We went up a grade today. Oh, did he... He just whacked himself on his head with the microphone. Poor Tyler. <laughs> Aw, Avery, that's so cute. He drew an aeroplane. Emma, what's the matter? Are you just uncomfortable because you're pregnant? Oh, you're in bad surroundings. Well, fine then. Be that way. Avery is um yeah go grab a serving you can definitely go do that we have so many pictures up in the boys room like so many um let's put that up there look at this room this is like an art gallery for children even though emma painted this one <laughs> this was when emma first started painting okay don't judge i'm fairly sure avery's drawing of cops and robbers is better than this painting which is quite hilarious Tyler's uncomfortable they're all uncomfortable because they're in bad surroundings because our kitchen's basically flooded which is always nice how are you Tom you look like an absolute freak his clothing choice though Tom is so fashionable I love it I'm I'm a massive fan of his pink earrings who wouldn't be? Ooh, that dial-up noise, though. I hope this hack works. I'm really hoping it does. I don't want it to be, like, failed and us get in trouble. Because I'm fairly sure, like, if we got in trouble and our work found out about it, that would not be good. However, I'm fairly sure there work hacks. Tom hacked land grab systems and was able to acquire 181 simoleons, from their bank. Okay, so we didn't get too, too much from that. I guess we'll um, continue on the freelance work. 
We've almost finished the job that we have going on right now. Aww. Tyler's like asking his mum for help with his homework. She's like, what the fuck? <laughs> She's like, what the hell are you on about? You know your child's getting old when like they come home from school and they're like, help me with this. And you're just like, what? What is this? My parents used to do that all the time. I'd go home with homework and then they'd look at it and be like, I'm really sorry, but I just can't help you because I don't even know what that's talking about. Like, really? No clue what that is talking about on the, that one. We're going to carry on eating that. Selfie! Did she just stop him from doing his homework because she was like, Son, don't do homework. I'd rather you take selfie with me. She's a great parent. <laughs> She's such an, an embarrassing mum. Like, so embarrassing. If I were Tyler, I'd be hanging my head in shame. Oh, seriously? Avery, why do you do this to us? Emma, come and fix this up. Once again, Superwoman comes to save the day, even when she's pregnant. Even when pregnant, she's fixing everything. We have... Oh, and our fridge is broken. Are you kidding me? We're going to repair this as well. Hopefully we won't get electrocuted. Pray to God that we won't get electrocuted. Oh no. I really, I really don't want to do this. Please don't get electrocuted. That would just be depressing as hell. I guess it was kind of stupid to leave like a flooded bathroom near electrical items. Probably wasn't the best idea or smartest move I've ever made. But meh. Oh, look at Tyler. Uh, Avery sat here doing his homework. Oh, she didn't die. Yes, that's good. We're going to scavenge for parts because this is gross. We just have, like, stuff everywhere. Tyler's gone to bed, bless him. He is like, oh, well. I'm not going to stand around and watch my mum work on stuff. I'm going to go to bed. I'm just not going to help. <laughs> we have such nice... Um, family. Look at Tom. Tom is me. Basically sat there with plates around his desk. I actually don't have any plates on my desk at the minute, which I'm quite surprised about because I usually do because I live here. Literally live here. If I'm not recording, I'm doing uni work and always at my desk. I'm surprised I'm not the hunchback of Notre Dame at this point in my life. I'm very, very surprised that I still have a straight back. Horse riding came in handy for something. Oi, get on with your work. Stop talking to your dad. Work and then go to sleep. And I think I'm going to end this part here, guys. Today was kind of a lazy day for The Sims. Um, apart from Emma, she went to work out and all that jazz. She's still looking quite chubby, but she is pregnant. Those thunder thighs, though. Someone actually commented that. And I don't think she has thunder thighs. But she is chubbier than what she used to be. Bless her. She looks really creepy right now. This is like devil stare. Oh my goodness. She looks really creepy. But yeah, that's the end of this part. If you liked it, please do give it a big thumbs up. Sorry that I hadn't recorded over the weekend. I am feeling a little bit better now. And yeah, I'm not as groggy as I was. So apologies for that once again. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all have a great day and I'll speak to you all in the next part. Bye guys.